Hey guys, welcome back. DeFi, DJ and Strip, and Barn Poor Poverty. I'm your host, Strip Coach, dropping knowledge bombs on all Forex Shark related projects. And in today's video, I'm giving you guys an update on the, the testing and uh, my thoughts on when the launch date will take place. And it's reference to some other content that uh, some other people in the community put out. So I just want to give my reflections on it. I've already told you guys, spoiler alert, on my channel that I don't think it will be this year. But uh, let's take a look at the progress we made. So I made this video um, and it got a lot of interaction. So I think I was maybe the only <laughs> YouTuber out there that jumped into the test environment and uh, was trying to capture this for you guys. So I got a lot of uh, comments and engagement. Everybody said thanks uh, that they were able to you know, see something behind the scenes. And that begs me or leads me to the question of why it was set up this way in the first place. Now, take this with a grain of salt my background in computer programming and it and stuff is very limited and definitely zero experience in the solidity side but i i did make my own token probably about a year ago on bsc uh when i was trying to launch my um fit pros uh, uh project and uh someone else mentioned this in the comments as well why this was not launched exclusively on the test net um uh, i think it was this one or somewhere else but basically the point is that BSC has a test net that you can actually use. So if you come over here to BSC scan, you can literally select the BSC test net. And every blockchain has this because as developers, you can actually load the contracts on here. And then all you have to do is come into your MetaMask and add the network for the uh, test net. So it's no different than adding a different network like uh, Palm or Moon River or whatever, you just literally add the testnet. And by default, um, Ethereum loads two testnets. So this would have literally been the absolute easiest way for the community to get some visibility on how the actual environment is working. So I don't know why this was not done, what the excuse was or whatever, but um, what's, in, what's happening now is that every single person that is testing this environment they have to load the entire thing on their local machine, meaning it's just you running simulated transactions. And sure, you can write scripts or whatever to do multiple transactions, but it's not the same as a bunch of people clicking on the front end UI to test things. This is what I had to do in IT whenever we do software. We rolled out software to our, I was in a manufacturing plant, so specifically to our engineers, and we had to let them test it because what we did on, on our end is not the same buttons they're going to click on their end and every single person's machine actually in a uh, corporate environment you want the machines almost as identical as possible but uh the idea is that you want everyone with a little bit different tweaks on their desktop their settings uh their web browser whatever to interact with these things and then give you some errors to see what's working and what's not working when you extract everything and everybody loads a pretty much quote unquote pristine or pure environment and they are the only one doing it, you don't get that human error and uh, variability that would come with the community. So I really don't understand what the purpose of this was. And in that regard, the people in the actual uh, chats, I don't have that up right now, um, haven't provided any insight either. A bunch of them have run into roadblocks and hiccups as well. So I really don't know how valuable this testing has been. Yeah, it's great to see that the dogs and stuff are there, but that leads me into my next question or statement is that the actual reason we are doing testing wasn't for the BUSD dogs being allocated. Remember that was a change he created after we did not get the launch because the um, uh, liberation contract had not been moved and it still has not been moved. So I don't really know why we're testing the environment of the new changes when the old changes is still not done. And that was the cause for the delay to begin with. Remember, there was a message from BB saying it was his fault for it went into detail that said it was uh, unlucky that the hosting ran out the day of the launch. But yet here we are with the drip liberation still not migrated to the full site. So the, the testing we're doing isn't validating the problem we actually had when we paused the contracts to begin with. And number two um, is that uh, as of yet, we still have, don't have a way to migrate our liquidity from um, 
the animal farm the animal dot farm website the original v1 site so remember there's supposed to be something up on these websites on the uh, existing site so where you can migrate your token so to me in the testing environment that button should be here we should be able to see that being done because if not that's just another delay because there's i don't i don't know how easy that's going to be but if we can't get a contract that was hosted on another website moved over and we um, don't have the migration of the pools and farms button yet, then I don't personally see this happening um, on November 1st, as Forex has alluded to. Just a quick message, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss another video. This helps bring brand awareness to the channel as well as all Forex Shark related projects. Thank you. But fingers crossed. Which leads me to a question that uh, Stunner mentioned that goes back to uh, S Crypto. Let's listen to that and I'll give you my thoughts on that. Oh, I saw something today, my man, uh, S Crypto 101. He said something that's pretty, uh, that would be pretty cool. He was like, hey, why don't uh, Forex just stealth launch that thing? You know, stealth launch it on Halloween. In the middle of the night, you know what I mean? Trick or treat, fool. <laughs> well, I'm saying, man, that would be cool if you come here and that thing's a trick or treat and it was, oh man, oh man, on the phone. Word of mouth, I'm gonna tell you something. Word of mouth, get to spread and then crypto. <sighs> you wanna see a TV air blow up? It's live, it's live, it's live, it's live. You free, it's live, it's live, it's live. That thing get spreading around on Twitter and all these sites and stuff, man. Woo wee. All right, so shouts out to Stunner for that. And that comes from this message here from S Crypto. Anybody would watch this video, if they do, hey, maybe worth a listen. But I think it would be so cool if we did a stealth launch or if we just launched on Thursday. And the thing is, why why is it that we have to launch on Tuesday or Thursday? I don't understand that. Why is it Tuesday or Thursday? Why not Monday, Wednesday, or Friday? Like, why are those not possibilities? I just don't get it, but I won't get worked up with that. I just really wanna... So, Shouts out to S Crypto for that message as well. That is, again, feeding into the questions that I have. So uh, that would be really awesome to see this stealth launch. I think a lot of the community uh, would agree with that. There are some. I put this out. Actually, you guys saw this other video. I put this out uh, with a question to Forex, and there were a few people that said they don't want to stealth launch. They don't want to, quote unquote, miss the uh, emissions rates. But I think the greater sentiment, I honestly don't have a channel big enough to find out, but I think most people just want the farms launched. And um, with the information I just shared with you guys regarding how the tests are going, why it was rolled out in this way, and the lack of uh, development on the reasons we were paused in the first place, just leads me to believe that, yeah, as likely as we would love, or as hopeful as we would like to be with a November one, or I'm sorry, a stealth launch, or the November one launch date, I honestly don't believe it's going to happen. And the reason I'm saying that now even more so is because um, Forex is in the chats and it, instead of giving us updates on the actual um, progress of the audit, which we were supposed to actually have today. So he said that two days ago, we should get the audit uh, finalized. And so now it's been two days on that and we haven't heard anything. So with our contracts being in the hands of someone else, that is an automatic delay because there's no control, right? So if someone at the auditing team has an issue or they go on leave or they get sick, then you're screwed, you have to wait. And so he's not giving us that update, which means they haven't updated him. So therefore there's a delay. And then he's also now sharing new information. He's like, hey, I got this announcement. We'll announce the winner for the previous contest. And then we're gonna start doing medium articles. Um, and there's a meeting for uh, the audit going on. And uh, he has an idea for a fund where we subsidize vet costs for people who are who will be forced to put down pets because they cannot afford vet bills while this all is great progressive movement and um innovation in the space uh he's not talking anything about again the original reason we did not launch on the 18th and i don't think i don't know why no one's bringing this up or mentioning this but it leads me to believe that there are bigger problems that we just don't know about and therefore it's not being uh, shared publicly because um, they rather keep the positive sentiment or hope. So it's easier to talk about other things that he has control over. We have a promo that's coming up. 
uh, work being set up on the Fiat on ramp, I think was this one right here. So all of these other things that, yeah, we would love to see and look forward to seeing. But again, the purpose of this video, remember on the 18th, we were three minutes away and the liberation contract was uh, still hadn't been migrated due to, um, by his own admission, BB not finishing uh, and the hosting being tied to BB. So the question we as a community should be asking is where is the liberation contract at this stage? Has that been done? Can we actually put a nail in that coffin and say we did that? Then the next step would be, okay, what about the ability to migrate our pools and farms? Because people have capital on the V1. I think that is going to cause another delay if that's not addressed in the short term. Now, as far as the dogs BUSD farm and being able to earn dogs, I think that was actually a relatively small change. And that seems to be, um, actually it's not reflected on this. Ironically, it still says pigs here. Uh, I'm sorry, not dog BUSD, uh, drip BUSD, sorry, that's correct. So this has already been updated on the UI and with the scripts. So that's great. So the changes he made seem to be in place, but the things we need to the farm to unpause seem to not be updated yet. So we don't have the audits, we don't have the migration for the pools and farms, and we don't have the liberation contract moved. And these are the delays. So I believe, yeah, we will not see this launch on the first. So I just want to prepare you guys as my uh, go-to crowd that watch all my content to uh, be prepared. Uh, I would love to come on here, be humbled and eat that crow and say that I was wrong, but uh, just in case, I want you guys to be prepared because I believe, and I can't prove this and Forex, or I'm sorry, Stunner mentioned this, that Forex may be trying to uh, give a reason for people to get in or provide an opportunity for others. I, I really don't know if that's it, but timing the market, something. There is something else going on um, that we are just not aware of, be it uh, more issues with the actual contracts, be it issues with the development team between him and BB, uh, be it issues with him trying to time the market and wait for this next leg down so that it bottoms out, or be it even like what Stable Fund just did, where he wants quote unquote only what Stable Fund said, only mature investors. So let's just say this gets delayed even longer. This would definitely rattle the cages of the bulk of the community, and you would be left with only the faithful view. So I don't know what the actual issue is, but the point that I'm making is that it does not look as though our one November launch date will come, keeping my fingers crossed, but being uh, realistic as well, because I just gave you some valid reasons to why that's not gonna take place, unless by the time I release this video, those updates come in, that would be great. I would love to see that, love to wake up to that. But as of right now, it is Thursday midday for me, and um, yeah, no developments or information on those main pieces that we've been waiting on. Leave your thoughts and comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys what you think. Um, I think I did a poll on this. So out of 470 votes, 36% said we'll launch on time, 22% one week max, 13, two to three additional weeks, so on and so on. So about 36% of you think that we will hit November 1st, so, um, but still the bulk 64% uh, believe it will not launch. So I guess my assumption is not far off. I I don't, I, I am hoping <laughs> that I am wrong on the Q1 announcement, but um, if history is any indie indicator of the future, uh, then we are moving slowly towards that. So uh, like I said, Crypto Mischief, uh, Crypto Richie, forgot how you actually say his name, but he even said that he thinks it'll be Thursday. And then what you just heard S Crypto say, he has no idea and neither do I, why Forex is hell bent on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, crypto is 24 seven. Yes, the bulk of the investors are in the US and maybe work standard corporate jobs. So weekends in the middle of the night may not be optimal, but at this stage, the most bullish marketing we can do is a chart that goes up and to the right and people jumping on virally saying, the animal farm is here, it's here, it's here. That would spread a hell of a lot faster and better than any sort of paid marketing that we could do. You've got a community of 100,000 members and 30 some odd thousand in the animal farm that would breathe a sigh of relief that the farms were finally up and running versus more announcements, more AMAs, more medium posts, all towards something that is still not here. And even when you come to the farm, 
uh, one, you see a chart down into the left, or down into the right, sorry, instead of up into the right, and you can only buy a piece of the farm to invest in. And as Forex own words said, people don't buy value, they buy hype. So why are we still trying to market value if we know that hype is what will get people in? So a better course of action, in my humble opinion, is market the hype, let the farms launch, let the market dictate everything and people see the charts and then they'll FOMO and buy in. But you can't you can't market value. He already said that himself. They don't buy value, but that's what we're trying to sell for some odd reason. All right. I've gone on a rant long enough. That's about 15 minutes. So yeah, leave your thoughts, comments below. Love to hear what you guys think. Are we launching on the first? What do you think the delays are regarding the drip liberation contract and uh, with BB making that migration behind the scenes? Um, so yeah, let me know. Hit that HBO special, help a brother out by like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And you know the drill to lift daily and achieve your impossible. See you guys.